21 to 25 ish area. Right. And uh, definitely SoCal, very competitive region. Still very respectable the fact that he was even considered to be part of that PR. So with all those news coming in, is uh, SoCal still suck? Hey, I, <laughs> I only said that because I care about SoCal. I want SoCal <laughs> to be successful. I love SoCal. I love being in this region. So I definitely think SoCal has the ability and the talent to be where they used to be. But you guys just... SoCal got to put in the work. They got to put in the grind, and they're doing it right now. I, you know, after every local I see, for the most part, especially that MSM, everyone's grinding, and that's what I like to see. You know, everyone's grinding, everyone cares, and they, they want to get better. They're, they're hungry, and that's, that's what I want to see in SoCal. And I've, I've definitely been seeing it for, from the past couple of months. And we talk about turning points in the history of uh, SoCal Smash. Your tweet will be one of the uh, chapters in the history books for sure. So <laughs> pushing the people to advance the meta game. Uh, Speaking of advancing the metagame, we see one of our players here, Mr. R, uh, coming out for the tournament. I think he's on one of the higher seats. Uh, had been oh, early, yes. yeah, early on, not not going to very many tournaments, but coming out now and starting to take some names with it. I know I, we've been seeing a lot of Krom for sure coming from him. Um, yeah, I I love watching Ramen play. He's he's a very creative player, and even like watching his Sheik in Smash Four, he he always had a lot of interesting. Like even sometimes he'll tweet just like him moving around this battlefield with Sheik. It was so cool to watch. So just seeing him with this speedy character like Roy or Krom, looks yeah. like we are going to see Ramen on the Roy. So going to be up against a Fox player going by Milos. Don't know if I'm like butchering that name, but Walker X. Walker X. Oh, Walker X. Walker X. Walker. X. Walker. All right, Walker X. We're going to go with Walker X. All right. Against uh, Mr. R and uh, already uh, holding his own. Getting a little bit of damage. Has a slight lead in the early goings. And let's see. That could disappear in a blink of an eye. But, of course, Fox is a character. Puts on so much damage so quickly. Up, tilt, up, tilt, up, tilt. The up airs start coming out. It's kind of the, you know, the go-to for this character since uh, 1999, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, the, Fox has been pretty <laughs> darn good in pretty much every Smash game. Brawl is probably his worst, but I mean, nonetheless, this character is still really quick and still does a lot of damage. Yeah. And of course, Roy getting Sakurai's blessing and getting that ultimate buff. Man, and that side special. Oh, but the side tilt. Oh, not enough. Start going off stage. Not going to quite hit that forward air, but looks like Walker going to strike back with the dash attack, but not, not racking up too much damage here. But there's the side beat, the hum sauce, as uh, all the Voidlings like to call it. And that move is so strong. That kill so early, it kind of makes the world salty just a little bit. They see something powerful. I'm like, that's awesome. People are like, man, I don't like it. I'm like, come on, guys, what are you doing? Killing me here. But, uh, you know, I'm kind of thinking about, because I know at Nimbus we saw Mr. Arco, a lot of Krom versus Foxes. And I'm wondering if he's going Roy. Ooh, he tried to get the read in that situation. But uh, I'm wondering if he's going Roy because of the edge guarding potential and maybe being able to go a little deeper than Krom can. Yeah, I mean, definitely could be. Maybe just a comfort pick. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not too sure. I actually think Roy is better against Fox because the down tilt. Like yeah. you don't. You don't necessarily like. If you get the sour down tilt on Illusion, it's not that bad. But with yeah. Krom, there's no sour part. So gotcha. I think for that particular situation, he's better. But you know, Ramen might like Roy for like his jab confirmed or some other sort sort of thing. But nonetheless, Ramen is doing a great job right now. Yeah, everything going right for him uh, on the brink on the brink of three stocking his opponent. Oh, that's oh, you're it. Dead. You're dead. See yeah. you later. <laughs> And that side B coming in so clutch for Mr. R and a three stock at that. Such a powerful character. And we see Mr. R utilizing Roy's, like, I think that's another reason why he likes this character because in Smash 4, he liked doing a lot of B-reverse things with Sheik. And he has access to that in this game with Roy and Krom. We saw the wave bounces, the B-reverses on the neutral B, the wave bounces on the side B. His movement is so tricky with these specials. And since the side B and neutral B are actually like kill moves, he can actually like, kill off of it too. So it's very similar to Sheik where you would like set up all these wave bounce yeah. or B-reverse things with needles into the bouncing fish for your kill steps. And he's able to do that in this game with Roy and Krom. And it also helps if he's able to just uh, play those, uh, oh my god, parry everything. Okay. Trying to look like uh, Daigo from yeah, yeah, Moment 37, just parry everything. Yeah, uh, the uh, <laughs> the triple parry there, very impressive stuff coming out from Mr. R. I, I definitely like the counter pick. Uh, Fox will always be great on tri-platforms. And even if you don't really have, like Fox doesn't have that much setups into up air strings like he used to. But if you hit someone onto a platform and get one of those platform tech chases and you just react properly, oh, dang, the turnaround on the neutral field. You just, <laughs> you're able to start up a lot of up air strings. And right. that's where Battlefield, you get so much extensions. And let's see if uh, Walker is able, or Walker X is able to make that happen. Throwing out up airs and 
you know, just trying to, oh man, some tricky platform Ooh. movement. A lot of parry. Wow. He had that scout, he's like, yeah, he's, the Fox is below me on a platform. I wonder what he's gonna do. Yeah, probably up smash. Yeah, such a good parry there. And gets Mr. R out of that tricky situation. No double jump here. Gets the forward tilt. Oh, There's that down tilt. Down yeah, yeah. Down and tilt. Yeah, he there. called it. You're a prophet. Down tilt, down tilt. And he picked it up and got the edge guard. And yep. that gets him the lead. And now in this game, when you get two frames, you do not get your double jump back. And Mr. R definitely taking advantage of that. A confident and edge guard, and he's uh, got some. Uh, it's uh, let's see if Walker's able to take the stock. It's going to be, you know, he wants the uh, big back air, not quite enough to kill. Probably hoping that was going to bring him right back into it. But Mr. R is building on quite a lead and controlling the match. Yeah, it just seems like any time. Oh! oh! Oh my! I thought a forward smash was coming. That was so sick. And that's one thing that Roy has over Crom. The sour up to, or the sour falling up air setups are so strong with the character. You can actually set up into smash attacks. Oh, but the forward air killing? Okay. <laughs> hey, if you're high enough percent, anything's a kill move. Oh no, he's so far down. And he's still in the edge card situation. Good recovery. He saw that uh, Mr. R was scouting out a low recovery. Just illusion to the top to get out of there. And I love how Mr. R actually opted. Instead of going for the downer, he just went for the upbeat to the ledge or onto the stage. Uh, relatively safe in terms of positioning afterwards. And if they miss the tech, like you get a stock. Why not? Right. And then if not, like worst case, you just get damage and you still get that stage control that you want. I uh, picked up the illusion. He blocked it on shield and big damage, big situation for Mr. R. Not quite able to connect with that forward tilt. Well, yeah, he bet it all right there, threw out the side special on shield. And Woker just holding on to that shield for dear life. Uh, you know, because if that connected, he was probably dead. Oh, there's a tech chase. Tech able to pick up on the up tilt, but Art getting the sour hit of that dash tax. And maybe and those are the situations where it's like, if I was Krom, that could have killed possibly. Yeah. Almost gets oh. the grab. Oh, you got to be careful. You can't get snatched by a Fire Emblem character up on that platform. But the forward smash will connect anyway. That was a weird situation because it looked like Woker had a grab. I can't believe it. Fox's range didn't didn't make it happen on the platform. And and look at Mr. R with this pressure. Oh, dude, I thought he was gonna swag on him like super hard, like like go off for <laughs> a crazy. Just here, right here, right yo, now. Yo, yo, that would have been so hype. But you know what? We're in bracket. I respect it. <laughs> and you saw Woker trying to play aggressive off stage and go after him, but didn't quite make it happen. And Mr. R just back in control. It's enough to kill. There it is. Oh, is it enough to kill? Yeah. Yes, it is. That move is incredibly <laughs> strong. A lot of people would compare it.